March for Taurus or you know whenever you get this message it's the message you're meant to hear whenever you hear it uh, and I want to tell you guys thank you for visiting my channel and if you would like I'm available to book private readings uh, just down below in the description box you can find all the information you need to find about me all right so guys Taurus this month is pretty um straightforward I got that you guys have been walking on eggshells, you have been basically like freaking um, taking on so many, I got like jabs or digs or um, so, uh, so much shit from other people, like little things, little things, the little things, the little things, the little things, and it's like, it's to the point where some of you are literally bleeding, like, uh, it's like how much, it's, I'm hearing like what more can I give? What more do you want? Do you want my freaking blood? Do you want my freaking sweat, my tears? Like, I'm giving you everything. Like, you want my teeth? You want me to pull my teeth out? Like, I'm hearing all kinds of like, I cannot do any more. I need to look out for myself because at the end of the day, you're like, you're the wounded one. You're the hurt one and no one's there to support you. I'm getting like, it is always on you. It's always you do this, you do that, or that's what I was getting. And um, the advice is you guys got to take time for yourselves. If you don't look out for you, no one else will. I'm getting that Taurus. No one knows how to treat you because you don't treat yourself right to begin with. You, you set the tone because you're constantly telling people that you are not the important one. They are. And it's like now when you really need a break, when you really need help, no one's helping you. Or just I'm getting also that just you know, even if you don't need a break or... Even if you don't need help from people, what you don't need is a constant disrespect, like 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 a pushover energy, like people just kind of running all over you or just saying whatever they want to you or talking however they feel they can speak to you. Like, I can just say whatever I want. It's just Taurus. No, it's not just Taurus. No, it's not. Y'all forgot Taurus is the bull. Like, you don't want no smoke. But see, Taurus, I feel like you're trying to be the bigger person. Like, you're not trying to come at people with, with that energy, but it's like... Stop testing me, right? So now it's called for you to check yourself, Taurus, because people you can people can only do to you what you allow them to do, right? So you need to take time back for yourself now. You need to go shopping. You need to pamper yourself. You need to make over. A lot of y'all need a makeover. A lot of y'all need some new. I'm getting new shoes, new clothes. Like your your stuff is old. Like everybody in your family has new stuff, but you don't. Right? So no, you need to go shopping, buy new clothes, get your hair done, your nails done, whatever, take a vacation. Some of you need to just take a walk. You know what I mean? By yourself. Okay, Taurus? So this month is all about regrouping and then starting to initiate and implement that plan. Some of y'all have a really great idea for something. Um or there's something you wanted to get started and you just have not taken that time for yourself so you don't you didn't get to start it. So this is that time this month to just start implementing very slowly that plan one step by one step. However, it has to start with you taking care of yourself first, doing something nice for yourself. That's the first thing. Oh, look at this Taurus, the sun. The sun and the chariot reverse. See, you're recognizing things are not moving forward. They're failing to get control of the things that make you happy. Right? You're failing. You're focused too much on your home life, other people. You're seeing that now. You're seeing that now. Energy of home, children, mother, nurturing the father, everybody. Right? But where are you at? Sign of Leo, sign of Cancer here. So you're you're realizing that your happiness is just it's not that far away. That's what they're saying to us. But you got to get up and take control of your own happiness. Let's see what we have for Taurus this month. Month of March. Let's see. Overall energy for Taurus this month. Overall energy for Taurus, please. Have another for you guys. Yeah, look at this. You have um, Eight of Cups reverse. So sometimes like the Eight of Cups reverse, and it's just like by itself. I feel like that's like a return to your inner self. Okay? A return to your inner self. 
it's like you know sometimes this is like walking away from things that don't serve you when your spirit ain't settled and just like saying fuck it i can't deal with this shit no more but sometimes it's a return to yourself as well okay somebody could be returning to you as well but it's it's about a return to oneself it's an eighth house energy so it's about what what needs to what i need to review what within me needs to be worked on so i can move forward because i'm not moving i'm stalled emotionally i'm stalled emotionally right right giving up frustrated feeling weak feeling tired feeling abused feeling abandoned feeling like you just you didn't you've been doing too much doing too much she like hey bitch you're doing too much i'm like shut up ho ho you ain't doing enough <laughs> yeah that's my jam <laughs> okay sorry all right, so we have five of pentacles here. Five of pentacles is your energy, Taurus. So five of pentacles, that's you feeling down, out, abandoned, lonely, broke. This is also the energy of people needing things from you. Um, feeling like left out, feeling like no one cares, feeling like you, this is a sanctuary card, needing sanctuary. Your finances could be changing. This is the energy of financial and material changes as well. Financial changes are needed. Five to a ten. Okay, so yeah, you're tired of this energy. It's over. You're like, yeah, enough of this. I'm no longer contributing any thought or any energy to anything that doesn't provide me with a solid gain. That's a very clear energy right here. Not even dealing with talk, talking to people that aren't talking about money. You're not talking to people who aren't talking about success. You don't want to talk to people who aren't talking about productivity, period. No more backstabbers. That's the energy somebody backstab you with your money and keep stealing your money, though. Friends. Shitty friends. Ooh. Bad friend circle. That's going to change. You have two loops here. It's changing. You're, you're seeing the need to change. And it comes to eight. So, yeah, that's that eighth house energy here. Five and three, eight, ten, and the cycle. So, yeah, they're saying return to oneself because whatever is around you right now, it ain't. it's not flowing for you. And it's like you don't. It's like Taurus. You forgot who you are. No, you don't, you don't mess with that. Somebody's been funny with your money, too. Lying to the sun reverse. Yeah, you're sad. It's like, yours is lack as well. Lack. Something is lacking. You have lack twice here. So it's like everything should be good. The pe the things that should make you happy are making you happy. The, you're not happy with your money. You're not happy with your job. You're not happy with your way of life. You want to change things. Things need to change. But they are changing because you have a Ten of Swords here. So the worst is over. But you're recognizing it now. So you're having a Ten of Swords moment this month, Taurus. This is, this is a tough energy to deal with. But you have the sun here reversed, which means you can turn it around. The sun is here. You can turn it around. You just have you you have to look at it as a card of like your ego it gets really bruised this because of money. Somebody feels like they just are not they just do not have enough. It's just they just do not have enough. Yeah, heavy thinking, swords, four swords here. Heavy thinking this month, heavy resting. They're saying you need to rest, Taurus. You're not happy, you're not well. This is not well. You get all these unwell cards, okay? Doesn't mean you're not well. Could be a child. Um, page of cups. So there's a sincere, this is all happening because of the page of cups, because of the three of swords and because of the queen of wands reverse, queen of swords reverse, three of swords reverse. All right. So you're getting over somebody who you felt like you're really jealous of this person. You were really tired of the way they treated you, the way they acted. It could have been a third party situation. You could have just felt like somebody was overly demanding and then they come in with sweet nothings, right? So it's like, you're just tired. You're tired. You're tired of offering up sweet energy and innocent energy to people who demand too much of you. People who demand, um, I'm getting some of you, for very select few of you. It's like you're not talking to anybody anymore because you feel like you're just constantly being used. Somebody was being used definitely for their, their efforts, their talent. Somebody was using it for sex, some of you, um, or just using your body. But some of you, it was just like, you felt like, no matter what you do, no matter how much um, energy you exert towards someone, they're never happy. They're just never happy. And you're constantly sweet. You're constantly um, mature about it. You feel like this person needs to grow up. They're refusing to look at themselves. They're, they're a brat. There's somebody very emotionally needy in this reading, very emotionally unbalanced and very emotionally needy. And they've been that way since they were a child. They're spoiled. There's some spoiled person here, a woman and her child. Maybe there's a woman here that's hella demanding with a super bratty child. And just like, or you feel like 
some of you feel like a husband or a wife is contributing or a spouse is really um, contributing to the um, teach is a bad influence on the children and you can't stop thinking about how you got to fix this you got to this this energy will be fixed this month okay you're going to find a way to change things you're gonna find a way to end the negative cycle you're gonna find a way to make yourself happy and then you're gonna be resting or you're gonna find a way to just rectify the situation you're recognizing this month that things are not right some of you okay um somebody says some very disparaging things to someone who had very good in, good has very good in, good intentions and you're tired of it you're no longer cry you're no longer um moping and being sad about things that you cannot control towards you're tired you also because it feels like no matter what you do somebody is always taking from you all right so let's clarify this energy and see where this is going this month i see a positive outcome for the month okay At the, by the end of the month you're tired there's a break and a truce okay but it's not without a little bit of much strife something comes to light about something that's going horribly wrong with money or um there i even hearing jail time i'm getting a lot of theft energy and then somebody's sick in the hospital six of wands reverse so i'm clarifying the five of coins right now and let's see taurus you're here so to clarify the five of coin I have the Six of Wands, the Ten of Swords, and the King of Pentacles in reverse. So, Taurus, you're feeling like, yeah, greedy, loss of money, endings, and ending to somebody, some of you are severing a relationship, a long-term relationship is being severed. Um, you feel like this person is no longer, has not been paying you any mind, or is just up there giving to, up there just treating you, di just straight up disrespectful words, or in, again, somebody's t taking someone's money. Someone's um, spending a lot of their money, um, someone else's money on um, doing other things and anything but hanging with you. I mean, let's just keep it real. Um, somebody has a lot to say all the time, but then they have nothing to contribute to the pot. And Taurus, you're the one carrying the brunt of all this. Or somebody else, whoever is carrying the brunt of all this in the connection, it feels like um, you're losing your sense of stability or you're losing your... Uh, you're losing your footing, your grounding. Somebody's not contributing to the situation and somebody's really worried now that they're losing money because whoever used to take care of them is not taking care of them anymore. Somebody spoke their mind and said, I'm done with this or whatever. And they were greedy. And whoever was greedy here, you missed out. You got your karma. I'm getting a heavy karma here. It's ten of swords here twice. Two very bad endings. Two very, very rough endings. Somebody said very harsh, negative words. Somebody put someone else down, told them they were worthless. They're worthless. Um, you're broke, you're showing shit, you'll never be anything, um, and then somebody stole and took some all of someone's money, okay? It was like, whatever you tried to give this person, it wasn't enough, or they, they just wanted more, and they're getting it. Somebody wants their money, or they're greedy. It's a strong energy of money here. Ending and changing a situation where somebody was feeling like they didn't have enough money and it's like if you just pay this if you just pay this person you're out and some of you ended a long term relationship, it's over. It's over. Somebody was getting acknowledgement from other people as well and not acknowledging the person they were supposed to be with. And that person is just sick of it. They're sick of giving all of their resources to someone who continually talks down to them, who continually backstabs on them, who continually cheats. Who continually um, doesn't doesn't give them any respect. I'm seeing they're very disrespectful energy here. Something very disrespectful, and somebody keeps coming back, and they say they're not coming back no more. They gotta from this. This is you realizing that you are worth more than this. Whoever I'm talking to in this reading, swords. Let's see, ten of swords. I'm getting passionate here because I'm feeling your pain. Whoever this is. Um, in the Taurus reading. What else are the Ten of Swords? The Ten of Swords clarified by the Empress reverse, the Hermit and reverse, and the Star. Somebody really needs to open up and speak right now. Their vision is very clouded. They don't know. They're having a hard time finding their footing. I'm getting that somebody, Ten of Swords, right here, right? And then somebody really needs to take the time out and really try to heal themselves because they're not seeing that the end of this relationship is a, is this long. There's somebody that's been in a relationship for a very long time in a situation that's very stagnant for a very long time. They could not find their way. 
okay and no matter how much they dig and dig and dig and try to make sense of this there is nothing to make sense of it's like you're not looking at it this situation been done this situation been over this person is di there's a lot there's so much disrespect i've never seen much disrespect in a reading okay there is a feminine and if this is you taurus i'm getting this you or this is how they treated you whoever it doesn't matter one of the people in this in this reading is extremely extremely disrespectful and rude and talks down and makes the other person feel like complete and total total utter crap okay and one person has been in this so long they feel like they're caged they feel like they're stuck they feel like it's almost like they're brainwashed to believe this person is good when this person is not okay one person is very very horrible and they know what they're doing they know what they do to this other person i'm getting that this person it just grew up this way by their parents okay the mother or the family is just like that all right and and somebody needs to get out of it sign of taurus here sign of virgo here and gemini and aquarius leo libra pisces yeah so I'm getting that somebody was in a relationship for a very long time or a situation for a very long time where they were just stuck and they tried to figure out a way out of this by maybe closing themselves off from everyone they know, right? And it didn't work. None of it worked because what happened is they just got deeper and deeper and deeper into a very bad and negative cycle. That negative cycle is finally coming to a close, okay? And then, then the person who is the affected person in this needs to see that this is a wish come true. It is a blessing that this is over. All right, now you have the sun reverse. Clarify that. You have the, there's so many reversals in this reading. The ten of, the five of pentacles reverse, the two of cups, and the four of pentacles upright. So to clarify the sun reverse, so this is discontent, okay? So somebody finally recognizing that their ego is just is being shattered. It's somebody, somebody, I'm getting somebody painted a picture in the head of a situation, a scenario, and made it to be something it never was. And that it's just like they refuse it, they refuse to see that it was always gonna fail. This is a relationship where there's no love, the love is drained, you know what he sees eye to eye. No, you guys are two different people where maybe you used to be best friends, you're not best friends anymore. Where you used to always, you know, finish each other's sentences, now you're just you don't even recognize the other person. You are different now. It makes someone very unhappy. I feel like you tried to work this out. Somebody's holding on for dear life. They're not let they're not trying to let this go. They're almost gripping it to the point where they're just not they're not want to be understanding. They don't want to look at themselves. They don't want to look at anyone else going in this, this situation. They're not even listening to um people that the voice of reason from other people. They just want their own way. And they know deep down inside that they need to let this go or they need to open up and you have five of pentacles reverse somebody is feeling like they want to come back um and one person is feeling like yeah somebody really wants to hold on to a relationship that has failed i, I can't say it enough and this is a square energy because there's a lot of fours in this reading so this is supposed to happen and this is supposed to invert the energy which means you're going through a bad time is a force it's a for the universe is forcing it because people no one is letting it go Four of Swords. Why is the Four of Swords here for Taurus? Eight of Wands. So somebody wants to come in and talk real fast. But somebody said, no, no, I'm not talking anymore. I'm done with this. Yeah, King of Swords, Reverse, the World, the Eight of Wands. So there's somebody wanting to talk, wanting, somebody has made up their mind that they are done and they are moving towards the ending very quickly. Uh, the other person is coming in fast trying to stop them. Like, no, we could, let's, let's get a new chapter. Let's get this going. But somebody said, no, I don't want to talk. Um, there's also the energy here of somebody that's so good and fast with their words that they are manipulative and this person never gets a chance to speak. I'm getting never gets a chance to speak their truth, never gets a chance to say what there is on their mind. And at this point, they're just, they're fed up. They don't even have anything left to say. They're leaving. They want, they're done. They're tired. Somebody is tired. Four of Swords. Somebody's ill here. We have mental illness here. We have physical illness. The Hierophant reverse, a commitment, there's an unconventional commitment here. Something, there's a difference in belief systems. There's two people who are very different. And they tried to make it work, it won't work. Eight of Pentacles reverse. It cannot get the effort, 
the effort, no matter the effort put in, I'm not even getting no one put in effort. I'm getting no matter the effort put in, it's not worth it, right? Because you're just too different. And that's the justice here. The scales are balanced, right? Six of Pentacles, again, things are balanced. The chariot, move on, right? It's very good. Five of Swords are reverse, except defeat. It's a very straightforward reading, guys. Page of Swords, hold back. There's more that you need to learn here. Hold back. Somebody is stalking. It's kind of abusive, this energy. I don't like it, Taurus. I don't like it at all. But I'm getting that all there's, there, again, world card here. This is a happy ending. Somebody's not seeing it, but it's a happy ending. Like, you're done. This, somebody's very, somebody is like, they're not happy it had to end. They didn't want it to end like this, but it's got to be done. And the other person is refusing to see that. And then both of y'all need to realize there's justice here. There's the world here. Like, the star, heal this, be done, okay? There's a lot of money loss here. There's a lot of money. Somebody spent a long time investing in something that just never paid off. Never. But that's your fault. You should have cut your losses earlier. Learn when to cut your losses. That's the lesson you learned here. Learn when to cut your losses and learn when to go back to what matters. Somebody's going back to what matters. I'm getting here going home. I'm going home. Going home. All right, so let's see what the messages are for Taurus for this month and wrap this up. Let's see what other messages we have for Taurus for this month. Oracle message for Taurus. Other signs I have here. Oh, I have a lot of fast moving energy at the end of the month, Taurus. Something happens real fast. Somebody gets cut, severed, and it's gone real fast. There's travel to... Somebody takes off in a car or on a plane real fast after getting rest at the end of the month and then somebody or somebody gets to rest finally at the end of the month once they get out of a situation. They get, there's the energy of moving here. Somebody's moving too. I use a couple breaking up, a long-term couple in this reading that's breaking up. Love abounds. New love. Yeah, so there's something that's not moving. And because of that, there's an ace of... Uh, wow, this is what you have coming out of all this, Okay. Because something didn't move forward, it just won't move forward, okay? You have strong energy of, of cancer season as well, um, July. But um, because you have something here that's not moving, it's actually providing an opportunity for something else. Money and love. Soulmate connection upright and um, a lump sum of money here with the Ace of Pentacles. Wow. It says strengthening bonds and coming together. Right. You're going to be coming together with someone else. But it has this has to play out first. This move energy, this normally upright would be like we're moving towards a relationship. Or you could just be moving so fast out of one situation and smack dab into another. And then you have Ace of Cups under here. So new love. So new love, new money, new job, soulmate connection coming out of all that chaos. Yeah, I'm getting there's a huge change. Your month starts with change. You start off with lack, abandonment, and you end up, you go through some type of roller coaster, and then you end up with truce energy, chilling, and feeling all right. Things are making sense. The sun is here. So even though you're not happy about it, it's all for the better. It's all for the good. It's all for the good. And then I'm getting by, by July, you start feeling, I mean, you have, you still have an ace of, ace of, um, Ace of coin here upright in the sun. So you're getting some big old freaking blessing. And the star card is here too. So you're getting a wish fulfillment. It's just not looking the way you like for it to look. Could be a new job. Could be a new relationship. Definitely have a new relationship here. Or a soulmate or a partnership. It could be a partnership at work. A work partnership. Something very abundant. So let me get another message for Taurus. Sorry, just clean up. Clean up, clean up. Everybody, everywhere. Let's see. Taurus. What do we got for Taurus? Retreat. Mm-hmm. Told you. Retreat. Time alone or in nature will help you recharge. I said take a walk. Second chance. Somebody want, wants a second chance. This relationship deserves a second chance. And then denial. Detach with love to clearly see the truth, though. Damn. I mean... And then you have obsession. Right. There was some mental, there's somebody mentally ill in this. Like mentally not wanting to let something go. Someone in this 
connection is gripped by obsessive thoughts, says the cards. I'm going to get y'all some more messages because I felt that. I felt like, I don't know, I felt danger in this reading. I did. I felt danger and I don't normally get that. So I just felt like, get out now. Like you waited too long. Get out now. That's all I had. Get out. Mm. What else we got for Taurus? Let's get another message. What else we got for Taurus? What else we got for Taurus? Back together, reunited, good chance of getting back together. Are we together? Things going well again. Again, that's that second chance energy. Second chance, second chance. Somebody wants somebody wants to let go. Somebody wants to keep going. And someone's obsessed. Feel great first. That's your advice, they're saying. Feel the feeling of having a partner. Healthy relationship. Raise your vibration and you will attract some. So it's like, some of you... You have an Ace of Cups and Two of Cups, so that just tells me that whatever this Ace of Cups is, this new love, some of you could know who this new love is already and want to go for it. Again, but somebody, there's there's energy that needs to be sorted out first before that happens. You got to feel great first, see? They're saying. And let's get one more. Trigger. Overreaction. Respond rather than react. Avoid decisions based on fleeting emotions right and narcissist look at this narcissism under the deck so you got these three feeling great first trigger and back together so somebody wants to get back together with you they're saying feel great first feel great first though because this person triggers you okay you don't want to overreact and then you have narcissism under here narcissism so manipulation control infidelity disregards boundaries egocentric entitlement selfish rule breaker Narcissism, I'm not going to go into that. You know what that is. Let's see. What do they want to say to you? What do they want to say to you, Taurus? What do they, what do they want to say? <laughs> what do they want to say? Think of a person. Okay? Think of a person. What do they want to say to Taurus? Oh, that came out fast. I'm trying to take responsibilities for my actions right now. Please know this. I'm trying to take responsibility for my actions right now. Please know this. Okay. What else? Karma is a bitch. I finally got mine. Okay. Let's get one more. What do they want to say to Taurus? It really was me, not you. Okay, yeah. Again, this person who wants a second chance, right? And then I'm just doing what I have to do right now under this deck. Now, let me get from my bag of tricks and then we're done. Get from my bag of tricks. Guys, I made some, just some channeled messages. I have like way more than this, but it's all could fit in the bag. It's like 200. So I'll get another bag of tricks. So maybe a bigger bag of tricks, put the rest in. But for now, let's start with this. Uh, Virgo. So sign of Virgo is here in Taurus's reading. I saw that anyway with the hermit. I don't know if I said that, so I believe I did. Talking all night. Someone want to talk all night. Or you will be talking to someone all night. That's at the end of the month with that with that eight of wands. I can it's like everything is chaos. And then by the end of the month, there's someone you're talking to, moving towards, loving energy. Good. Get through this tumultuous energy towards you can do it. Or whoever this Virgo it is in here. Get through it. Do what you gotta do. Um, Libra, there's Libra here too. So Taurus and Libra, you're both ruled by Venus. So that means it's about growth and abundance and expansion. Expansion and all things that you love, all things this month. And then am I good enough? Somebody wants to know, are they good enough? Let's get one more. Ooh, sacred sexuality. So somebody, y'all might be having sacred sex this month. Like, wow, y'all could be really meeting up with a love match that's serious. Somebody, Some of y'all can get turned out. You know what that means? All right, so I thank y'all so much. Mwah. Come see me again soon. Mm -hmm.